Thames River, eventually flows into Lake St. Clair, makes up part of the uh, Great Lakes Basin. We have two GM facilities in our watershed, so we were able to, to be the partner for two different facilities, which they aren't able to have in, uh, in some of the other places. So uh, when they decided to roll GM Green into uh, Canada this year, it, uh, it was perfect. We jumped on board. It's been a great partnership. So at the station, they are determining the stream velocity. So we get them to measure um, a certain distance. So in this case, we measured yeah, out so 10 meters. Two, and we'll what they're doing down, is they have a start and, and finish line. With, with, and the students will be able to just throw in some balls, today, measure how quickly that, it moves across a certain distance. So, and then with a um, distance and a time, they can determine the velocity forward, of the stream. incorporate the duck race at the end because we're measuring the how fast stuff we're traveling down the water and balls aren't really that exciting but two ducks floating down the water are uh, rubber ducks floating down the water are very exciting I guess. <laughs> it's bigger than your fist and that's called cobble. <laughs> and if you can't pick it up with two hands because it's so big and heavy then that's going to be a boulder. I got this. Sand. Is that a sand. 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 Uh, our science unit right now that we're doing our, is ecosystems and we're looking at different components of it and how parts work together within an ecosystem. So this is fitted perfectly for a lot of what we're, we're talking about with just the health of an ecosystem and changes in an ecosystem. We can see it firsthand instead of from a textbook or just me writing on the board. It's, it okay. makes it all that more relevant to them. Today, this is my first time here with it and it's been a great experience seeing the interest from the kids wanting to learn what's going on with the water and the interest of the bugs and the different the stuff that's living in their water, right? So many things, like what bugs we found. We found a couple of leeches and crayfish. <laughs> um, how big they would be, like what happens in it, like there could be a run, pools, like um, how deep the water can get, how cold it can get, just everything about this place. It's been awesome, just like catching little bugs and dropping in the water and stuff. That I learned a lot and I didn't. Today was fantastic and um, it's pretty cool having to go in a river and be able to catch stuff and um, uh, get the experience of being the, one of the schools to come here.